What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys a Galade team for Ranked Regulation F. Now, this Galade team right here is hard trick room. As you guys can tell, we got the Didi Hatterene. We're going to be able to set trick room pretty easily with those two. But Galade's over here, rocking sharpness as ability, giving it a damage boost to cutting moves. And since we have Psycho Cut and Sacred Sword, both of them are going to get a massive boost due to this ability. Blade also has to clear amulet as item with the grass terror type and then wide guard and trick room for its other two moves. Trick room is going to always be good because we can pop it at any time. And on top of that, wide guard is great for Pokemon such as Fluttermane using Dazzling Gleam, Chiyu using Heat Wave, any Pokemon really using double moves. So wide guard probably going to come in clutch in certain situations. But like I said, this is a hard trick room team today. Indeed, he had a ring we already mentioned, but we also have Torkoal and Ursaluna. So Torkoal, phenomenal in trick room. You guys seen it plenty of times in the past. Ursaluna, same thing with that, with the guts and the flame orb. You have protect, you got EQ, you got headlong rush, and you have facade. Facade, this crazy damage alone, paired up with the guts and the flame orb. It's insane. It is insane. Our final Pokemon for today's team is going to be Urshfu, the dark and fighting one with a stellar terror type. It's got Unseen Fist with a Choice Scarf as item, rocking U-Turn, Poison Jab, Wicked Blow, and Close Combat. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Gallade in Regulation F. First match coming at you guys, going up against a pretty normal standard team, or I wouldn't say a standard team, a team with a bunch of standard normal Pokemon for regulars. They got King Gambit, they got P2 with the Evo Light, they also have Water Ogre Pond, also have Flutter Main, Gouging Fire, and Roll. So we're definitely going to want to pop Trick Room here, they could lead P2 to counter our Trick Room, that is definitely an option, and I might just want to go into Glade here, considering I do have Sacred Sword to kind of get after that P2. But I think they're going to lead. So I'm going to go late here for our nice lovely lead. Our second Pokemon that we are also going to lead could be Indeedee with the Psychic Seeds. Just so this thing can pop Trick Room. And then it can also Helping Hand and help Galade actually get after it. And on top of that, it can stop Terrain. It can stop, I wouldn't say Terrain, Fake Out. And Terrain on Rillaboom. Considering we're going to be probably slower than Rillaboom, it's going to be good. Actually, you're kind of fast. But you know what? We're going in with both of them. So I'm going to bring in both of them. Um... And our final two Pokemon are going to be... Do I go Torkoal? I definitely want to go Ursaluna, but do I go Torkoal or do I go Hatterene? I think I go Hatterene, especially with Indeedee on this team. Let's do it. So Glade's going to be our lead. They lead P2, which is going to start throwing Sacred Swords this way. Hitting it for his big time stab damage, considering Glade is part fighting type. Really, really cool. Psychic and fighting type. Love its design. It's got like swords as arms. Oh, it's so sick. I love Glade. I really do. I really do. But, um... Who do I think they're going to lead here? I think Rillaboom P2 is definitely an option. I think P2 has to come out here. And no, it's going to be King Gambit and Galaxy Fire, which I don't mind. I have Sacred Sword. I can hit that thing hard. Um, they do have that lovely dark type over here. I could just go follow me Trick Room, which might work in our favor a little bit better here. We might just want to do that. We might just want to go follow me Trick Room. We might want to do that. He's going to Pro Synthesis Pop. Gonna go for speed, and yeah, our best bet has to be just follow me, Trick Room. As much as I just want to go Sacred Sword right in this slot, I think we just sacrifice our Indeedee, we pop the Trick Room, and we pop the Follow Me. That is going to be the play. That is going to be the play because we have to make sure we get off Trick Room, right? It's a heavy Trick Room team. We have to get off. It's an absolute must. And he's just gonna end up protecting King Gambit. If King Gambit gets to protect, you could go for a Breaking Swipe. That is a possibility. Breaking Swipe's looking a little scary, especially with that attack drop. And he's just going to go for Heat Crash, which is totally fine because Indeed he soaks that all day long. Big time soak. And now we got Trick Room out and about. So I could Helping Hand, Sacred Sword. That's not a bad little combo. Um, Could end up Terrasalizing you in the grass, but I really don't like that. I really don't like that at all. But so I'm going to go Sacred Sword here. I'm going to throw it into the King Gambit slot. And on top of that, I think we just follow me out here. Yeah, I like to follow me here. I like to follow me. So I'm going to hit the follow me button. Spam that until indeed he dies. And hopefully the Sacred Sword can take out King Gambit. Go for Kaltak Leaf. It's gonna finish you off. So King Gambit actually slower than my Glade here in Trick Room. Hopefully Glade could just KO here. Can you KO? You do. Cool. So King Gambit gone. Glade picking up a big time KO with that sharpness Sacred Sword. So now Couch of Fire is gonna go. Another Heat Crash coming in here. Yes, it is. Can you soak this? Do soak it. That's big time. 
That's big time. Because now I could just bring out Expanding Force Hatterene. And that, it's, it, that's our best bet, right? We can save Ursula. We can save Ursula. As long as Rillaboom doesn't come out here, which I don't know if they even want it. i am be upset if they do. But, but... If they didn't bring Rollboom, or if they're not bringing out Rollboom here, Expanding Force is going to be a huge play for us. It's going to be huge. So let's see what they end up doing. Kind of curious. And dang, they do have Rollboom. Sucks, man, because now I can't change up the terrain. But still, I can still hit rather hard here. So he can fake me out. He can actually fake out whoever he wants. And um, I think I am Rocket Double Protect, which isn't a bad play for us. And if he's going to fake out anybody... Oh no, I'm not rocking double protect. Do I even have protect on the Hatterene? I do. So I'm going to protect the Hatterene. And I guess we'll just attack. Maybe start throwing Psycho Cuts. Hmm. Into who? Gouging Fire or Rillaboom? Rillaboom is going to have first turn priority. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to protect here. I'm just going to protect. Because again, I could see Fake Out. I could honestly see a Grassy Glide into Gallade. This turn and a heat crash from the uh, gouging fire that would be annoying but i'm really hoping it's just faking out my hatterene so i popped the protect here psycho cut's gonna fly and it is just attacking me psycho cut's doing some damage with the crit Woodhammer's gonna fly you didn't even have the Woodhammer. that's actually pretty good for us that's actually pretty good i still have my terror type which is huge we're going to have to pop it on Ursula. He's going to take some damage recoil. Does he, does he die out? No, he doesn't. He goes for an attack boost. So the attack boost comes out here. How is looking dirty. And we're going to have to start getting after it with these guys. So I'm going to have to terrestrialize you. I'm going to have to go for a headlong rush here. That is by far our best bet here. And I think how many turns are left in Trick Room? One or two? Hopefully two. We do have two. That's huge. That's huge. I'm going to terrestrialize you just so... Plus one grass guide isn't KOing us. And we're gonna go here, and then we're just gonna dash and gleam on top of that just so we finish off the real boom. And in case Galaxy Fire wants to terrestrialize here, we can get rid of it. So both of them are plus one. Both of them are plus one. Which is scary, because grass guide is gonna do some damage. It's gonna do some damage, and I wonder if Hatterene can soak a plus one grassy guide. You're gonna end up withdrawing real boom. That's a little odd. That's a little odd. So I guess they just want the fake out back, and they're gonna go into Ogre Pond here. They are just going to go into Ogre Pond and probably just waste out some turns here. I think that's their whole play. It's just waste out Trick Room turns, which is smart. It is a smart play, because then they can just bring out Rillaboom this next turn. Get the Fake Out off. Has the Spiky Shield. A lot of different options. A lot of different options. But they just got rid of their minus one. Or their plus one. And wow, we did some damage there. That's a lot of damage onto the, onto the Ogre Pond. That's going to finish off you. And I'm, I'm going to take a defensive drop, which kind of sucks, man. Which kind of sucks. Does suck. Maybe we should have went for a facade, but I wasn't expecting a swap. I was not expecting a swap. So Ogre Pond's going to get back some HP. Will Boom comes back out onto the field. I now have Guts Trigger. And I'm minus one. Oh, this matches. This match is coming down to it. So I mean, from here, we have one turn left in Trick Room. You have Fake Out ready to go. There's no point of us protecting. We might as well just try to get rid of these guys. We might as well. I might just double down on the roll boom. Because if anything, he's going to spiky shield. And if you don't, Dazzling Gleam is going to chaos. So I'm going to go Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to go facade into the roll boom slot. I believe spiky shield is going to pop from Ogre Pond due to one turn left in Trick Room. And then maybe fake out from roll boom. Or maybe Grassy Glide. You're not plus one on attack anymore, which is great. Which is huge. And you could honestly have double Grassy Glide. I didn't even think that was an option. I didn't even think about that. Both Pokemon could have Grassy Glide. That could be a little bit of a threat. So we're going to see a Terra type pop out here. Special defense boost from the Ogre Pond. Finally going to use their Terra. And I'm still thinking this Dazzling could KO. Hatterene hits hard, man. Stab. Life Orb. It's big time damage all day. He's going to get that special defense boost here. And Fake Out is going to pop into the Ursula slot. The Dazzling Gleam is now going to fly. Is this double KO for the win? It's not. It is not. And who are you going to KO here? Or who are you attacking? That's the real question. Because now it's 2v1. He's going to go for a Horn Leech and actually get back some HP. But how much HP do you get back? 
Not enough. I think Expanded Force can actually KO. Actually, oh, you get back more HP. So now it's a 2v1. I could go for the Trick Room Pop. I could go for a Trick Room Pop, which might be in our best interest. This thing has no double hitting moves. So do we Trick Room Pop here? Definitely go for Facade. Facade Expanding Force. They both do the same amount of damage. This is tough because I'm minus one on defense. I really want to protect Ursaluna. I really want to protect Ursaluna. I think we just double down here. Actually, let's go for Trick and Pop. Let's go for Trick and Pop. So Horn Leech gonna fly over there. We end up surviving. Okay, that's game regardless now. Now it's game regardless because you were not able to KO my Ursaluna. We're not able to KO my Ursaluna. So Facade's just gonna finish this off. If it doesn't, we pop Trick Room and we take control of this game. So Facade, there it is. Bang, bang. Delayed hard Trick Room team. Picking up a big time win in match number one. Hopping into our second match for today's video and we're going up against a Dragon Ball team. Alongside with Ting Lu, Raging Bolt, Chi Yu, and Fluttermane combo. And last but not least, they have Amoongus for support. So we're definitely gonna have to pop Trick Room. Amoongus going to be rather annoying here, especially if we do pop Trick Room. So we're gonna have to figure out ways around it because again, that Pokemon is just so slow. It really just can put Pokemon to sleep once it's in Trick Room. So we still have to pop Trick Room. We're just gonna have to watch out for that. But for our lead, I do like a lead here and I do like Indeedee. Hmm, actually, we might not. Actually, yeah, we do want to go in. Because I do have Wide Guard with Galate. So I was going to say, Chi Yu and Fluttermane, a little bit of a problem. But if I go into both of these guys and then pop a Wide Guard, we can block Daz and Gleams, Heat Waves, and then pop Trick Room with DD. So that's something I like. They have no way of terrain control either. So honestly, you were going to be great. And last but not least, we could go Urshifu for late game. Or I can just go in with another Trick Room user. But I think I'm going to go Urshifu for late game. I do like that, especially with Choice Scarf. Maybe once Trick Room ends, we can bring it out here. If time works out that way, because obviously sometimes Trick Room will end and then you're forced to bring out Urshfu and then you're just in some trouble. But we're going to hope that uh, if we need Urshfu late game, Trick Room's ending. And then it can just pop out here with Choice Scarf. Use like Wicked Blow or something, close combat, do some big time damage and win us the match. But I wonder who they're going to lead. Again, if it's Chiyu, Fluttermane, we're just going to set up a nice little wide guard, get the Trick Room going. They're not going to be expecting it. So let's see. Who you got cooking? We go Fluttermane Dragapult. So is this still a wide guard play? That's the question. Is this still a wide guard play? I think so, right? I think so. Is this still a wide guard play? I mean, I could just Terra. I could definitely just Terrasilize. I could definitely still just Terrasilize. They're going to boost their energy speed. Speed, that's cool. Again, I could still wide guard thinking that it is. I think I'm just gonna wide guard. I mean, what could they honestly do? They could throw up burns. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I could go follow me trick room, but again, <clears throat> that might not be your play. That might not be your play. Actually, that might be our play, but we would have to trash slice at that point. I think we should go follow me trick room. Let's do it. Let's go follow me trick room. Follow me trick room out and about here. We're going to Terrasilize Glade just in case Dazzling is flying out here. We're just not dealing with it. We're going to be able to Terrasilize and just attack the next turn. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see what they want to do here. So the follow me is going to fly here. I was going to go for the Wagger. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. Yeah, I knew it. I knew I should have went for Wide Guard. Ma made life a bit easier for us. He's gonna go for Assurance, but you should soak. Okay, I was gonna say. That'd be very upsetting if you didn't. Oh, we get off Trick Room. Out and about. And we're ready to go. So now I can just start throwing Psycho Cuts left and right. I think Fluttermane is a bigger problem. And we're just gonna Dazzle and Lean double down. Throw a Psycho Cut that way. Do some damage onto Dragapult on top of that. Which is good. The so Dragon Pulse is just gonna protect. I mean, that's fine. Psycho Cuts flying into the Flutter Main slot, which should do some nice damage. You're just gonna double protect just to read out what we're doing here. Double protect to read out what we're doing. Not that big of a deal. I should have went with my gut last turn, man. Wide Guard would have been great. It would have been awesome. A little bit of Wide Guard just tricking with Indeedee. We would have been thriving. We would have been thriving. 
Because we because we would have still had our terror type. But I honestly probably would have used it this turn. I don't know. I don't know. But um, who could they potentially swap into here? Maybe Ting Lu Chi Yu. And I think I'm just gonna go Psycho Cut into this slot now and just switch it up. Just in case we see a swap of a Fluttermane into a Dark type. Right, yeah, if they go into a Dark type here. In the Fluttermane, I wouldn't blame them. But next turn, I do have Sacred Sword, which is good. Which is lovely. I know, they're just gonna stay in here. The Psycho Cut gonna bring you down to one HP. You're sashed. Of course you're sashed. But the Focus Sash pops out here. The Asim Gleam gonna connect. It's gonna say bye bye Dragapult. And bring Fluttermane down a little bit. We got a crit on the Fluttermane, which is kind of funny because we did little to no damage. And then if I had to guess another Dash and Gleam flies, yes it does. Which you soak all day. You get a crit on my Glade and my NDD dies, which is not that big of a deal. Considering now I can bring out Hatterine. Hatterine can come out here into the Trick Room. We love this Pokemon. And Expanding Forces can fly. They can fly. And if they bring out a Dark type, then guess what? We're just going to Sacred Sword into that Dark type. Beautiful. First turn priority is not allowed either due to the terrain. And they're going to bring out Raging Bolt. Raging Busy. Um, from here, I could go Sacred Sword into this slot. Expanded Force will KO you. I know that all day. Psycho Cut has a heightened chance of crit. But Sacred Sword is nice. We're going to go Sacred Sword here. And we're just going to continue on with Expanding Force. And we're going to throw it. We cannot use Thunderclap. Which is awesome. And we're ready to roll. So they're just going to go for a Protect. Maybe a Double Protect here. I wouldn't blame them again. They're just trying to waste out Trick Room turns. Yeah, Double Protect's going to fly. So this is honestly might work out perfectly. This might work out perfectly. Because they're wasting out these Trick Room turns. I think there's one, maybe two turns left. Actually, probably two, right? Because we used Trick Room. And then we went into Psycho Cut. Yeah. So there's two turns left in Trick Room. I don't know if they can waste them enough. I'm not sure if they can. But if they do, they're going to be cutting it close to it. Actually, this there should be one turn left in Trick Room. Yeah. So we do have our Urshifu in the back end, which is great. And from here, we're just going to go Expanding Force, which they might swap to a Dark Type here, right? No, they're just going to thrash this. The Terror Type flies. They're going to go into Raging Bolt. So Raging Bolt's going to get Terror Type, go into Straight Fairy. Straight Fairy Type is going to come out here. Terrain also ends next turn, which is a little rough, especially for Thunderclaps. But Expanded Force is going to take out the Fluttermane, which is massive. Do some big time damage over onto Ragey Bolt. And I don't think Sacred Sword has enough mustard in the tank to finish this thing off. I really hope so, but I doubt it. I doubt it. It does. It does. That's huge. So that's going to pretty much wrap up this game. Now it turns into a 3v1. I know Trick Room has ended, but we do have this Urge from the back end with the Choice Scarf. Big time sharpness KO with Sacred Sword from our Gallade. That is huge. That is huge. But I'm surprised he didn't bring any dark types, right? No Chiyu, no Ting Lu. They didn't bring either of them? They didn't bring either of them, which is just crazy. Which is just crazy. But now I can just go into a beautiful Psycho Cut, follow through with Expanding Force, and that is going to be game set match. They probably just cancel. Yep, we're 2-0. Oh. Let's go hop into our third. Final match on its way, and we're going up against Snorlax. I love Snorlax's design. Always loved it from Gen 1. Cannot wait. Hopefully, they actually bring it in here in match number three. But they also have Torterra. Torterra is a dope Pokemon as well. Furthermore, they're rocking out with Alolan Ninetales, Milotic, Hisuian Arcanine, and Dragapult. So we're looking for a perfect record in today's video. Rocking out with Galade. We're going to lead again. I actually really like this lead of just in DD Galade. Seems to work out really, really well. Seems to just get after it. Um, we can bring Torkoal in case we want to go for like more weather control. So they cannot pop a War Veil. That's definitely an, an, an option. So I'm going to go... Indeed, Galade again with Torkoal in the back end. And last but not least, we're just going to keep this Trick Room thriving. Going in with Hatterene yet again. Expanding Force works so good in the Trick Room. Once we can get this thing out here, especially in the back end. After you set up Trick Room, it's just like, oh my god. Hatterene is here to KO. It's doing so much damage. It's so hard to counter unless you have a team that can actually counter it. So I think we're going to be able to thrive out in today's video. Looking to grab ourselves a perfect record. It'd be awesome. I feel like I thrive out with hard Trick Room teams. I really do. They're going to go Torterra and Milotic, which I don't mind. I can go follow me Trick Room here if I want to. You could go maybe, like, Protect EQ. You could go Shell Smash. You have options. You have options. But our best bet, again, is probably follow me Trick Room. Follow me Trick Room. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely follow me Trick Room. The Trick Room from the Glade. Follow me from the Indeedee. Yet again, it's just so simple. It works so easily. 
And then once Ndidi dies, you just had a ring onto the field, expanding force, psycho cuts flying left and right. It's a pretty simple play. But Tor Tower's gonna grab the terror type right here in, in the first turn. He's gonna go straight fairy. I love when Tor Terror terrestrializes because the little terror goes on top of the tree and it kinda just like wiggles around on the tree. It's so sick. So Vodmi's gonna pop here. I could see maybe like a shell smash kind of play. I'm gonna go for life dude early on here, thinking we're just like attacking early. Which is not happening. So they're gonna waste a turn to life do. And this thing's gonna bulk up with iron defense. Okay. I don't mind it. You can boost your defense up. No problem. Trick room's here. Trick room is here. I could maybe go for like a, looking for a crit here with Psycho Cut. But that's not our best bet. Oh, you got Marble Scale. Oh. Oh, this, these guys' defense are boosted. Okay. Okay, I see you. I think we're just gonna start launching Psycho Cuts. I think we just start launching Psycho Cuts and just constantly follow me until this Ndidi dies out, right? Because we kind of need Ndidi to die as soon as possible now. These defenses are just way too boosted. Psycho Cut's going to fly here. No crit. We're looking for crits here. And Iron Defense is going to bulk up. Are you just going to life do here again? This is not looking good. This is not looking good. We're going to constantly go for this Psycho Cut action here. And this is just not looking good. We need our Hatterene out here, but I don't want to hard swap into Hatterene. I really don't want to. I really don't want to. So we're just going to keep constantly following me. We're going to keep going for Psycho Cuts. And maybe we just start getting crits because Psycho Cut does have a raised boosted chance of getting crits. And if we do, we'll just start taking out these Pokemon. So Gallade, need some crits from me, buddy. Need some Psycho Cut crits. That's not a Psycho Cut crit, but you're still doing some damage. Okay, now this is scary. I need crits now. I need crit. I, I need crits right now. Right now, we need crits. And honestly, it might just be a hard swap into Hatterene at this point. It's gonna be a hard swap because he's gonna go for another Amnesia here. He's gonna go for another Amnesia. We need crits right now. Right now. <laughs> right now, we're gonna swap into Hatterene. I think another Life 2 slash Amnesia is popping out here. And this thing's getting scary. This thing's, we, we let it bulk up way too much. I didn't think it had amnesia. I did not think it had amnesia. There's the iron defense. Can we get the crit? Third time's a charm, baby. Third time's a charm. We're just not getting crits, man. We're just not getting them. We're just not getting them. <laughs> we are just not getting them. Our opponent's playing phenomenal right now. Do I have psychic terror type? On Hatterene. That'd be very beautiful. But I doubt it. I think it's fire, right? I think it's fire. It is fire. We don't like that. I was gonna say if we had that, we're gonna we're gonna pop it, just get damage boost. But expanded force is now gonna fly here. Should do some big time damage to Milotic. It does, beautiful. Can we get the crit now? It's your time to shine. Can we get the crit? He's going for body press, we're dead. No, we actually survived that. Can we get the crit? Need the crit. Can you get the crit? We, that's all I'm asking. Skulls can fly here. You soak that as well. Um, we can take out Milo here, which is pretty good. But we're not getting crits. But we are just not getting crits. It's a problem. We're not getting crits. The trick room is gone now, which isn't too bad. I mean, mm, the weirdness disappears from the battlefield. I mean, we're still going to rip a psycho cut here. And I'm just going to finish off Milo tick here. Oh my lord, I should just pop another trick room. I should just pop another trick room. I don't know what I'm thinking. Psycho Cut, can we get the crit? Why are we not getting these crits, man? Why are we just not getting these crits? It just baffles me. That we're not getting crits. It just baffles me. No crits allowed here. I don't know what we're going to do. This Torterra is a monster right now. Absolute monster. Absolute monster. But I think our play is going to be hard swapped into Ndidi. And then just Trick Room again. It's a problem. I think they, they're going to life do here again. Just to try to keep the Milo up and out and about. But they wasted out a full Trick Room set already. A full Trick Room set. I don't know how we're dealing with this. I told you, I, I I know how we're going to deal with this, but we need a crit from Glee. 
That's our only way. We can target down this left slot all day. But we need a crit from Glade if we're going to do anything here. This thing, I think, is plus six in both. Both special and regular defense now. So the left slot is going to be our play. We have to. We just have to take out the left slot. Keep taking it out as much as we can. And maybe hope that we can eventually get a crit from Hatterene or Galeed. <laughs> like, that's our only way. That's our only way. So we're going to follow me just to protect our uh, Hatterene here. We're just going to start ripping these expanding forces. And we'll deal with... We'll deal with Torterra at when the time comes, right? We'll deal with Torterra as the time comes. This thing is just insanely boosted. I think it's just going to start ripping body presses, right? I don't know, actually. What you got cooking? Body press? I wonder what his final move is. Wow, we soaked that, which is huge. I wonder what his final move is. Leech Seed? I feel like if you had Leech Seed, you would have sent it already. Leech Seed would be clutch. <laughs> That'd be so clutch. Fingers crossed for no lead seeds. Fingers crossed. Alright, so they're gonna throw out a low nine tails. Um Snow is here ready to go. I mean we could swap into maybe like Torkoal here. But I think we just go helping hand into Hatterene and we just go expanding force here. If you're not sash, you die. If you're not sash, you die, but you could be sash, which could be a little bit of an issue. So instead of following me, we go helping hand. I was gonna swap into Torkoal just to set the sun. But if body press is coming in that slot, we just die. The expanded force is going to fly here. No focus sash. That's massive. So again, we're just going to keep attacking. Keep on attacking here until we get rid of this. Uh, or until we just have Torterra left. And out comes body press. We soaked that all day, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. So keep on attacking this left slot. We need to get rid of it. We need to get rid of this left slot. Only way of winning. Only way of winning. So final Pokemon comes out for them. It is going to be his suing arc. So not too worried about. Helping hand. Expanding force popping out here again. That's our plan. That is our plan. Just keep going after the slot. We already allowed Torterra to boost up. This is absurd. So helping hand is out and about. Expanding force flying. Arcanine dead. Arcanine dead. So now we're just left with this thing. Match is not over yet. This thing is insane right now. We're going to lose a little bit of HP, and hopefully he just takes out my... Okay, he doesn't take out any of them. I was going to say, hopefully he just takes out my... What's it called? My Indeedee. But he doesn't. So let's see, how many turns are left in Trickle? There is going to be one. One turn left in Trickle. And our best bet, to be honest, is to just go... Helping Hand, Expanding Force again. Use our last turn in the terrain, all that good stuff. Maybe get a crit here and just end this. The expanded force is going to fly. We do do that, which is good. But honestly, Trick Room ending is pretty solid. Oh no. Oh no, actually no, this is, you have synthesis. This is brutal. This is brutal. This is brutal. We still have Terror type, which I'm most likely saving for our Torkoal. Most likely saving for our Torkoal. And to be honest, we have to bring out Galade here. Did I go follow me Trick Room? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I gotta go follow me Trick Room here. So I'm gonna follow me Trick Room. Set this up. You, of course, have Synthesis. Get back some HP. And we go follow me and we set up Trick Room. The Trick Room's gonna get set up for the Torkoal. I still have Terra. Which I'm gonna have to send on the Torkoal, and I'm gonna look to just erupt here. I'm looking to erupt. This Pokemon, yo. Torterra, plus six on special defense, plus six on regular defense. We did this to ourselves, so I'll admit it. I'll admit it, but this is fun. I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time recording today. Alright, so Drought is here. Check this out. That is absurd. That is absurd. But from here, we're going to thrash slides, and we are just going to pop an eruption. The eruption can come out here, and then on top of that, we're going for the Sacred Sword. Well, not Sacred Sword, a Psycho Cut Race Crit Chance. The Torterra should go second. Should go Torkoal, Torterra, then Arcalade. But I wonder who they're going to attack here, because one crit wins us the match. One crit wins us the match. 
and I don't know what happened. Someone disconnected. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Someone disconnected. Either my connection or their connection. And that kind of sucks because that match was coming down to the wire. And I really want to see who was going to win or lose. Let me know in the comment section down below who you guys think was going to win or lose. But that's really upsetting. It honestly is. I'm going to just say that last match ended in a tie. I really do not know who was going to win. They ended up disconnecting. I got the win on my column. But still, they could have easily won that match because their tour terror was boosted. Plus six in special defense and plus six in regular defense. So I don't really know who was going to win that match. It was really coming down to the wire. We had a rhetorical terrestrializing and uh, dropping eruptions. I don't know if that was going to do it enough. And on top of that, we had Gallade ready to go for second cut, hoping to get a crit. We weren't getting crits all day, so I don't even know if we were going to get it. But again, it was coming down to the wire. I really do not know who was going to win. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.